Tonight, authorities say it is this group of people who are responsible for enslaving two young boys and making them perform sex acts for close to a year. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone spoke to neighbors who say they had no idea this was happening right next door. Tonight, St. Pete police arresting six people. Authorities still searching for a seventh. Investigators say this group of six men and one woman sexually exploited two teens living inside a mobile home in St. Petersburg. It's kind of unnerving to know that. I mean, it really is right next door because we didn't see anything really. All I saw was people coming in and out. The investigation began in May 2018 when investigators believe the group lured a teen from Louisiana to St. Pete through an online gaming app called Discord. Police then found another teen boy inside the home. Investigators say Mark and Andrew Dennis went to Marion County to pick up that boy. His mother finding a note from her son saying not to look for him. The teenage victim in this case was lured away from his family with promises of a better life. Instead, he was moved into a filthy trailer and used as a sex slave for nearly a year. Authorities tonight still searching for Curtis Gruwell, who also lived in the mobile home. Michael Washinsky with Trafficking Free Zone, a program designed to help end sexual exploitation, discusses how a victim might act. Victims many times um, seem fearful or anxious unusually fearful of law enforcement, avoid eye contact, um, not able to speak for themselves. Police say the victim from Louisiana has returned home. The victim from Marion County is receiving specialized care. If you suspect human trafficking, you can report it to the National Human Trafficking Hotline. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.